All right, so this time we're not gonna we're not gonna review these today. What we're gonna do today is get my initial impressions of what I see from here. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and insert my uh, unboxing experience, uh, which I did record. And from that unboxing, you ended up getting the uh, the manual right here. I'll go ahead and insert that into a B-roll overhead footage somehow. You got the lightning to USB-A, I mean USB-C cable. You get these additional um, rubbers, rubbers, tips, I guess. You get the uh, medium pre-installed on the AirPods Pro, and then you get the small and the large. Now, what you're gonna see here is kind of different because I went ahead and purchased these right here. These are dirty. <laughs> these are the Dakoni bullets and they were designed particularly for the AirPods Pro to increase the isolation that you get and to uh, increase the sound quality because, and I'll go over this in more detail in the review, uh, the stock silicone tips that come in with the AirPods are okay, they're all right, but it, it's sort of an awkward in-between where they don't isolate entirely to uh, to be completely, you know, like uh, the ANC mode, but at the same time, if you want transparency mode, it ends up kind of mixing with the sound being picked up um, on the mics of the AirPods and the actual sound that you're hearing because of the leaks going through the silicone tips. So it ends up having somewhat of an awkward sound um, with those two combining, in my opinion. Uh, and I say that because I especially heard that once I bought these. These made it so much better and either made it all, you know, transparent from what you heard from the mics or completely shut off the, the world around you. This, like I said, is not going to be a review. This is just stuff that I'm going to point out, but stuff that I noticed when I took them out initially. And I said, ah, oh, okay, and I'm listening to this, and I'm testing them out, and I said, ah, oh, cool, interesting. Uh, they do this, they do that, they don't do this, they sound like, kind of like this, reminds me of whatever. So, first thing I'm going to point out is the packaging on the AirPods Pro, or, well, that come with the AirPods Pro, is actually very, very minimalistic. Now, I'm not going to show you the other side of the box because that's where the serial number is, but, uh, sorry, not the serial number, but, you know, the identification info. I don't want to show that, but it's uh, what you expect from Apple. Very minimalistic, very, very nice. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's about all I can say about the packaging. Next thing. Uh, one thing I pointed, one thing I noted when listening to these was... When you have them on, regardless of whether you're playing sound or not, regardless of whether it's transparency mode or ambient noise cancellation, whenever you rub your finger against these mics right here, and I don't know if you can see there, but it's not just a black sticker or like some aesthetic choice. It's in, it's actual it's an actual grill with a mic there, and that's part of what they use to uh, do the ambient noise cancellation. Anyway, when you do that, it kind of sounds similar as to when... Um, Let's say you're monitoring with some, you know, close back headphones and uh, you're, you're monitor monitoring your voice and stuff like that. And you can hear no latency or anything. Um, you can definitely hear that here. Uh, it kind of sounds like that as if you were kind of, let's say the mic is here and you're rubbing your finger against the mic. And then you can hear that from, you know, the actual sound of the close back, like as if you're rubbing a finger against a textured surface. It sounds exactly the same here. Uh, not exactly like incredibly amplified or annoying or like it, it hurts to listen to it, but it doesn't sound like you're rubbing like let's say the plastic here or the metal down here or anything. It actually sounds like you're rubbing up against a mic, but it's very quiet. So interesting thing to point out there. Um, unlike traditional earphones and IEMs, these um, do not have a neck that enters the ear canal by the way. So these tips right here, yes, they enter your ear canal, but underneath the tips is, see if I can remove that, nothing. They actually attach to this outer ring right there, and that is how they stay attached to the, the, the IEM or earphone or whatever you want to call it. 
Now this part inside is plastic and it's exactly the same on the whites. It's just that, uh, well, the, the stock tips, but it's exactly the same and it just attaches like that. Boom, go over it, snap it in place and boom. So there's nothing that actually goes into your ear unlike a traditional headphone, I'm sorry, earphone or IEM. Unfortunately, as I just mentioned, the charger that you require for these is a lightning cable, uh, which absolutely sucks if you're an Android user and you don't have anything else other than, you know, you know USB type C preferably, and hopefully no micro USB at this point. But on the, on the bright side, the cable that it does come with has a USB-C um, towards the charger port, the, the, the part that goes into the wall plug. And the good part about that is that most modern chargers nowadays are starting to come with an entry that is USB-C as opposed to USB-A. So, you know, that's one bright side. You can carry around one wall wart with at least uh, two cables, you know, an exclusive lightning cable just for this, but at least you don't have to carry around two wall warts instead. So there's that. Another thing, they don't look ridiculous. That's a really nice thing about these, unlike the regular AirPods, which, by the way, coming up soon, but yeah, they don't look ridiculous. They actually, they look all right. They, this, pretty much this part just sticks out of your, uh, sticks out from the side of your head. And obviously you can see part of the, the, the pod right there, but honestly, it's not a big deal. Another thing to point out, no Apple stickers come with this product. That's right. If you were hoping to receive an Apple sticker, which well, I personally don't care, but you might. If you were hoping to receive that Apple sticker, you're not going to get that from this product. They don't come with Apple stickers, unfortunately. Now, when I put these on, the fit is... it's all right. Why put it... why lie? The fit's all right. It feels... feels meh. And I'll get more uh, more into that in the, the full review of these, which, by the way, you're not going to wait long for. That's coming this week. I just figured I would do an initial, initial impressions as well so that you know what's coming next. Um, and their sound, I'll go into more into detail later, but I'm going to leave it off at this. Their sound is pretty surprising. Pretty surprising, honestly. I, I wasn't expecting these to sound the way they do. And I'll explain exactly what I mean by that. Don't expect these to be like a gold mine. They do have their issues, just like any other audio product, and just like any other tech product. But um, honestly, I thought these were going to be a huge disappointment. And I'll just tell you this much. They're not. They're really not. Oh, and for those of you interested or curious on that famous snapping of the case... Here's the sound for you. I don't, I don't, I don't really understand it. It's really not as like snappy or whatever. But here you go. Listen to this. Uh, one more time. So take that as you will. Uh, the review's coming up later this week. Uh, do keep an eye out for that. Remember, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Make sure you are well informed about these. I know this looks bad, but trust me, we're still an audiophile channel. I just decided to spread out into some truly wireless options and see what the market has available right now. And just a quick update, stuff I plan to bring into the channel for reviews, like within the next few weeks, are these. The AirPods Pro, the AirPods Gen 2, the Bose Truly Wireless Free um, sports buds, I believe that's what they're called, the sound sports, the Sony WF-1000 XM3s, hopefully the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, the Powerbeats uh, Pro, and the Sennheiser Momentum 2. So all of those are coming to the channel, with those last three being strong maybes, but mostly definite. I'm going to be reviewing these and comparing those side to side, and at the end, uh, might do a yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this initial impressions video. I know it wasn't much, but it was less of like an informative experience, but more of a, a hype video. You know, it's like uh, 
coming up later this week, we're going to be seeing this. So pull off your, uh, how do you say it? You know, get ready for that one. And uh, yeah, this should be fun. Yeah, whatever.